Kit, how excited are you to get this thing going? Excited, man. We've uh, been sitting around in Florida for, for the last two months just uh, playing and getting our work done. So finally, uh, that last week, it's kind of crawling. I think we were all ready to get up here and get the season going. That time with the Red Sox, that time in spring training, how would you assess that for yourself, your overall performance, and how much did you grow in that time? Um, you know, it was good overall. Uh, the spring training uh, when I was in the league camp was a lot of fun. We uh, kind of learned a lot from watching the guys and then, you know, being able to talk to them. And then you know, coming down and uh, back to when I got option back down, it was a lot of a lot of fun seeing the guys and then taking that into those everyday at bats and everyday preparation and then trying to work on different things as far as you know what I was going to try to do that day and, and it was a lot of fun. Given your position, do you tend to kind of you know drift more towards the guys of your position uh, in the majors up there as far as you know who you get close with or were there guys in spring training that took you under their wing? Yes, sir. I mean, we sit there and uh, you know we're doing all of our outfield work with the outfielders, so those are the guys that we gravitate towards. You know, as being a new guy. And, you know, in the first you know, camp, sit there, you keep know, the shut, keep my head down, and just try to play hard. And, uh, and then as the guys start opening up, start talking to them, start learning. But um, yeah, I mean, those older guys, they uh, you know they went see what you got, see what you do, and see how you go about your business. And, and I was really uh, you know happy to see that towards the end, before uh, that they were starting to open it up. To me. What is the biggest thing someone like you, an upcoming player, can really take away from that spring training? Um, I think the biggest thing is just how. You know, regardless of what happens the night before, every day they come in with a new mind, with a, you know, the same mindset. Uh, everything is a clean slate. And they get their work done, and they don't let what happened the day before affect them. What is your end goal out of this time in Pawtucket right now? At the end of the year, what do you want to have accomplished? Uh, to, to have played in Boston, and uh, I think that's everybody's goal here: is to put their work in, uh, be productive and then hopefully get the phone call and be ready and be productive up there to help the major team win. Now your brother is Jared, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I actually uh, was contacted by uh, someone who represents him. I'm going to talk to him in a couple weeks. Can you tell me a little bit about him? I, I don't know his story necessarily, but it sounds pretty pretty interesting and pretty cool oh, what yeah. he's done. He's a uh, double amputee. Now, if you saw him walk through the door, and you'd be like, That's, you wouldn't think that, because it's the way he moves around. Uh, but, He's a, you just say, that's a big boy. I mean, he's 6'4". Uh, like I said, he, he's strong, works out a lot. I mean, he benches over 400 uh, multiple times. So, I mean, it's not like he's doing one max rep or whatever, but he's a big man. And uh, he, uh, you know, got into long drive competition. He just used to, like, grip and rip. And then, you know, his golf game's pretty daggum good all around, not just with the driver. But then uh, we kind of pushed him to really start doing these competitions and sure enough he was out there and he's been what he's you know he's won the uh, state uh, double division and overall division long drive for double amputees and then this past uh, off season he went and won the uh, the national uh, overall competition and double uh, amputee division long drive now he's got the world championship coming up in May so hopefully he'll win those again. I know he's in golf and you're in baseball but do you really use him as an inspiration? Yeah, I mean, you know, so you get through the dog days of August and you know, the season's grinding on you and stuff. Uh, yeah, it's hard to it's hard to sit there and you know complain whenever I got a brother who's got like you know, has to wake up every morning, put on his legs, and just to stand up to walk and and then get his day going. So it really puts it in perspective.